YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the topics in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Want to talk a little bit about Bitcoin? I know this is just like another video. It's just been a video after a video. But guys, I want you to pay attention to something and looking at something that I see that I think can be possibly what we're going to see with Bitcoin. Uh, retail, like a repeat of basically what happened right here is what I can see happening for Bitcoin right here. If we uh, if we can't find a bottom which right now i don't think it's a probable that we're that we're finding a bottom right now you know um this could be another bear flag and it could be an indicator that we're going to start breaking down again i'm thinking that this is kind of looking like this right now and it would kind of play the narrative and it would drop us down uh pretty considerably but what do you guys think what do you guys think with bitcoin i want to know I'm watching it. I'm watching it all day today. I'm also watching some of these altcoins. We just talked about a couple altcoins and uh, I want to talk about some other altcoins too that I had seen. Um, this is one altcoin that I was definitely looking at. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. It did list on crypto.com. Um, still at 113 million market cap. But again, this thing already had a huge run up. This is probably from when everybody kind of got the news that it was going to be listed. And then after it listed, it probably saw this little dump. And then um, it's probably going to be in uh, kind of price discovery mode and it might get a little bit cheaper. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Again, we talk about this Nike check right here. This Nike check, when you see this Nike check forming cryptocurrency, guys, this means just don't do it. This means uh, don't do it because this is a bear flag and it's an indicator that you might see more sell-off we want to see a little bit more positive price consolidation um and not so much like this um on the 12 hour um again this could be this could be a bottom though look looking at the four hour it's possible you know trending between these two channels right here but we want to see this start trending above this orange bollinger band so we, that is what i'm looking for for that Let's see what it's looking like on the two hour Two hour look like it's again, hey, trying to test above that orange Bollinger band. So that is what you want to see for a uh for a clean recovery. You know, if I want to see a recovery, I want to see this thing start trending above the orange. So on the on the two hour it is, that means on the one hour it's having a breakout. That's good. Um, so maybe this might be the early signs of a good accumulation zone for this coin. This is kind of what I look what I look at you know these lines that I use on here you know I use the Bollinger Band those are my indicators I use Bollinger Band and I use Kettner channels right so this is this orange line is the Bollinger Band and uh these little other wavy lines right here are my Kettner channels they let me know like kind of like when we're up on resistance and uh, just how price action is kind of going and then also I use the RSI this lets me know when the coins are overbought and oversold so um, those are kind of the indicators that I use and that's kind of what I'm looking at. That's what a lot of people are looking at. Um, and a lot of people just pretty much, let's see, let's see what the five minute looks like. Five minute looks like it's been trending pretty solid above this orange. Again, when you, when you could catch one of these coins, um, let me show you, let me show you something. Uh, maybe not this coin because maybe it's just too new. Um, but if you could catch one of these coins, and you could ride this orange line. Like where were they able to ride this orange line? Not not really much. This this has just kind of been a lot of FOMO. Um, but as you could see, every time that it's uh trended below this orange line and made a retest, sometimes it's able to stay above. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with this coin. Again, it was a coin that I just listed, now it's up 12% at the time of the video. Um, I don't remember what it was at at the beginning of the video. I think it was at like 111. So it's it's having a breakout right now. But again, I don't know. Will it keep going? Will it not? I don't know. Um, but it is trending again on Dex Tools. This is a website, guys, that I use. I made a lot of money on Dex Tools, and I definitely recommend it to you guys because you can find a lot of good projects. Uh, but you always want to make sure that you're checking audits and that you're doing your research on these coins. You don't just want to buy anything that you see on here and just assume 
um even a lot of this stuff in these top daily gainers guys i've checked contracts on here it turns out that that some of the times that these are scams so again you want to check the audits and to check audits is super simple we'll do it on the next point so like we'll just take uh hmm, i don't know we'll take this one we'll see we'll see what's going on with bub because it's the number one right now right so this is the coin on the ethereum blockchain that's getting the most eyes and again guys we we're able to check uh all these blockchains so we got solana base ethereum finance so this is on uh this is on base and as you guys can see, this thing is starting to trend also above this orange line, showing signs that it is making a recovery. Also on the 30 minutes, showing signs that, hey, it might want to. We talked about what happens if you could ride that orange line. Look what happened right here. It was able to trend above that orange line for quite some time before seeing sell off. And then uh, now, again, look, uh, retesting this line. But I don't know what's going to happen with this coin. I'm not saying that, like, uh, you know, this coin is for sure going to recover because, again, guys, it's not financial advice. We're just looking at charts, and I want you guys to understand what a healthy recovery looks like and uh, what a fake out looks like. You know, again, look, we talked about this bear flag, and look at it form right here. See this Nike check that formed right here? Boom, Nike check, downside, right? Now what are we looking for? We're looking for a sign of recovery, right? We touched this bottom Kettner channel right here. This was a double bottom. So a double bottomed out and it played to the upside. And now what you're hoping for right here on this little probably like five minute chart is some kind of a, a bull flag breakout and this thing to make a healthy uh, overall cup and handle and start to the upside. That's what you want. You want to be in at the bottom right here. Hopefully that you're, you're these people are betting that this is the bottom. But again, it's not for sure, guys. This is a meme coin. And all these coins that are on Dex tools are meme coins. Look at this website. It's pathetic, guys. Like it is definitely something that's not going to be around for very long. Um and so I don't know. But I mean it's it's hard to say, right? This this could be a coin that goes to a billion dollars. I don't know. Like that's the thing with cryptocurrency. Like some of these coins can go all the way up to like a billion dollars and i was telling you guys how to find your audit your audits are found right here you click right on the side on audits on dextools.io again go to audits on whatever coin you're on before you buy the coin not after you buy the coin don't don't verify that it's not a scam after you bought it because you were so greedy take the time do your research dive into the community check out the check out the telegram check out the twitter judge based off of what you get from that and how bullish you are on it how much you want to put into a project like this like that is definitely like a poo poo coin um with a six million market cap understand what a market cap is right understand how volatile a trade like this is this trade could literally go down to like fifty thousand dollars today literally like this trade is highly volatile and a lot of the times these coins that are trending are trending for a very short period of time and they're good swing trades or um good scalping opportunities but a lot of the times these are not coins that you want to hold for a long time guys that's why i always tell you that you want to have like exit strategies in my opinion there's things that i am long on if it's something that you're long on be long on it don't be sad when it goes down in value you know you valued it at whatever you valued it at hopefully hopefully you had some kind of plan of what's going to happen if this thing drops considerably in price to a point where you're not comfortable with if you're not able to set a stop loss what you're going to sell it at sometimes you're going to have to be comfortable with like hey maybe this is not going to come back but again you're not going to have to feel like that if you're not playing too greedy right if you're not over leveraging in the trades if you're only spending money that you're willing to lose if you're taking your initial investment out when you get up considerably right like if your coin is up like a hundred percent right and you're bullish on it you see a long future for it okay that's great um it's up a hundred percent so why don't you and again not financial advice here but this is what my mentality is in a trade like that i should not be greedy i should just take my initial investment off the table and let my profits ride for me. If I'm so bullish on it, I won't take my profits out and I'll let them ride for me. And if it drops down, once it drops down on the dip, that which it will, if it's up 100%, it will correct. All these coins, guys, will correct. Anytime that you see a coin that's up insanely, even like 60%, plan on it already 
being ready to correct, especially if it's in price discovery mode. A lot of the times these coins are looking for a top and once they find the top, the sell off happens. It's a panic sell. It happens very fast. And sometimes you can get caught holding the bags for a good amount of time. But hey, sometimes you're able to hold some of these coins for a couple months and they end up being uh you know a couple hundred million market cap and sometimes they just go to crap guys that's just the reality of it but this is a website that i use if you guys got out of this anything any value out of this make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell notification um we're gonna keep making videos like this also i didn't go live yesterday i owe you guys a live i've been dealing with some things in my personal life so again I appreciate the love in the comment section. I appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. And I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm sorry that I left for so long. I'm excited for this uh, for this meme cycle, guys. I'm excited for Bitcoin to finish its correction and um, for it to really take off and to uh, be able to change a lot of lives and be able to change even my life, you know? So uh, I'm excited for the future i'm excited to have you guys all you guys that are just signing up today or just not signing up today just subscribing today appreciate you guys and uh yeah catch you in the next video peace